Ladies and gents, boys and girls, how are we all doing? Saturday the 13th of June at home workout 82. If you haven't seen on Sugar One today, in a team of two you're going to complete for time. You have 40 box jumps, 60 plate squats, 80 ground to overhead, 100 down ups, 80 ground to overhead, 60 plate squats and 40 box jumps. Wow, you are in for a treat. Okay, pairs can break the workload up however they wish. But you must complete the allocated work in each station before you move on. So, if you're with a bit of a shitty partner, they might do no work and you might have to do a lot. However, if I was partnered up with Walt, well, we'd be allocating that work 50-50. Okay, so let's have a look at some of our movements. Our first movement is going to be a box jump. So, if you don't have anything sturdy to jump on, the easiest thing to regress that to is going to be a step. In regards to the step up height, we want that to be about 90 degrees so your knee is going to be in line with your hip. You're going to stand all the way tall, squeeze the bone, and control yourself back down. However, if we do have something sturdy to jump to, whether that is the third step in the stairs, a box, or a small wall, you're going to do a controlled dip, jump up, soft landing, stand tall. I'd encourage you to step down and then jump up again. Like so. so that's our first movement. Our second movement is a plank squat. You're going to have your feet just outside shoulder width. You're then going to toe out to 11 and 1 on the top face. You're going to hold your plate. You can hold it in like a front rack position. You can hug it. Or you can hold it a little bit further out depending on the load of it. You're then going to go soft knees as you go back and down and stand all the way to the top. That's our plate squat. Following that, we're going to have 80 ground to overheads. So we're going to do this one with our plate. We're going to hinge back, violently extend the hip, and punch overhead. When I'm overhead, I'm squeezing my bum and locking my ribs down. Okay, what we don't want to do is in this extended flare position, that is going to jam up your back. Following your 80 ground to overheads, We've got 100 down ups, alright? You can thank Walt for that one. So, we're going to go down to a tall plank position. We're going to jump the feet to the hands. Jump. Up. 100 is a large number. Obviously, that's 50 each, ideally. We have chosen down up to keep you moving, okay? For you crazy people out there, if you do want to do a burpee, by all means. <laughs> Once you've done those 100 down ups, you're then going to work your way back up. So it's that 80 grams overhead, which we've already seen, 60 plate squats, and 40 box jumps. So that is our workout. In regards to how we're going to warm you up for that, we're going to get two sets. We're going to get 10 step ups, 10 air squats, 10 plate press, and then five down ups. So let's have a quick look at these. I know we've already touched on some of these movements, but we'll just go over them so nobody's missing out. Step up. Full foot on the box, 90 degrees. Stand tall, squeeze the belt. It's that simple, there's your stepper. For our air squat, again, feet just out shoulder width, hands out, control down, stand all the way. There's your air squat. We then have our plate press. Grab your second plate. You are going to have your feet directly under your hips. You're going to squeeze your bum, squeeze your tummy as you press up. Head through that window at the top. You want to imagine that your arms are a window frame and you're poking your head through them. Then you have five down ups. I know you've got a lot, so I'll demonstrate some more again. There you go. Following. So there you have it, your warm up and your workout. So, accessories. We've got three sets. If you feel like you haven't done enough already, we are going to get 15 sit ups and then 15 glute bridges. So, this one doesn't involve you moving much, you can stay on the floor. If you don't have an ab mat, grab yourself a towel, you're going to roll it up, put it under your lower back. You are going to plant the feet together. You're going to go back and then finally. Throw yourself forward, you want a flat back at the top, and your shoulders just in front of your hips. 
However, we don't want to find that range by compromising. Okay? Only work to the ranges that you can maintain good positions in. If that means that you are here, that is fine. If you're here, that's optimal. What we don't want to see is this. Okay? Once you've done those 15 sets, you're on your big bridges. So you're going to go toes facing up, wet in your heels. You are going to bridge up and squeeze your bum hard. If you're feeling that one excessively in your hamstrings, walk those feet back. You're going to feel that more in the glutes. So, there you have it ladies and gents. You have your warm ups, you have your workout, you have your accessories. Saturday 13th of June, let's get after it.